Yeah, Renekton is a pretty tough clan. Renekton is really tough, fair god, in my opinion. But at least you can do more in team fights, as usual. Ooh, he went for the D blade. This guy's gonna be aggressive. Look at the damage. Is this guy running armor? The kindred mark. Yeah, early on Rennington's not too bad because you want to try to trade when he does that much fury built up. So the level one's good at least. But after that, usually gets pretty tough. Dude, I hate the Kindred Mark because I never know if he's like just baiting you out or if he's actually going to gank. I do know this guy played pretty top side last game, so he played around like top mid. Nice trade, but don't know if it's worth. Well, we didn't actually see the Kindred, Kindred actually. He probably is up here, though. Cannon wave, it is. Rip. It's a good back time by him. Still gonna try to push, but he is gonna get back in time, I'm pretty sure. Award. Oh, that guy's on crab right now. This is not good. Ah, oh, this is not good, dude. I'm gonna get XP at least. Oh, that's a bummer. Wave's definitely not in a good spot. Even if I TP there, probably still get ganked. Such of pain. He might even still be setting up here, because he's doing his all top side. I get like lane ganked or something. Yeah. I hate being in this situation, man. I live. We got a TP coming in. I can come back with E, maybe? Wait, he still has flash. Ooh, nice. That was sick. Well played. That's good. That's good. Uh, let's go Tabby's here. This is rough. The jungle pressure is real, dude. Yeah, I thought the Renekton used, uh, I thought it used Flash at first there. Oh, 
I was really just there to try to bait with my E. I was hoping they would go back in. I was hoping the Kindred would get baited. I don't think he got the mark off me, at least. Yeah, he didn't get the mark on me. Not bad for a mid lane. Kind of struggle for me, though. See right there, if you empower W's and it takes off your shield. Brutal. Wow, that heal. Yeah, ranked in the lane is so hard, man. I don't think you can go for it, dude. They have mid here. Mid's gonna just jump you, dude. I can't do anything about that. That's on here. Jungles are weird about the crab, dude. Maybe she can execute, though. I wonder if Rennington's chasing. Nope. Dude, I thought he had Harold for a sec with that skin. Legit looks like he has Harold. I think when he presses W or something. I think I'm gonna hold TP here. Gonna miss a wave for it. Yeah, we'll hold TP here. Some tips on how to lane as more top, new to the game. Uh, laning as Mordekaiser? Kind of hard to say while I'm in game. But I have some videos on my YouTube if you want to check that out. Mordekaiser scales off levels. You kind of just like key spam. And try to get to your level six. Level six is where, you, whenever you whenever you have your ulti up, you want to force stuff, basically. But Mord skill is really hard off levels. Just do stuff when you have ulti, kinda. Jeez, man, I can't believe that's even close. I got every single passive off. I'm actually glad I didn't pull him in there because I think his, uh, his ulti burn might have killed me while pulling there. I wonder if Kindred is going to gank here. Okay, we'll take that. We should get Dragon, hopefully. Uh, yeah, we should get Drag. The three v two should go well. Nice. 
besser als der Dabo. I guess we're gonna do Executioners here. Since I can actually buy it. Bramble would also be kind of good here too, though. Especially since they have three auto attack champions. I think it probably would be better. But whatever. I want the anti heal right now. Nice. Two dragon on Shiv. I got one combo. Holy. That Kindred's not even fed either. Dang. That was kind of crazy. He has no ult there. Oh, max range. Thank you, sir. Oh my god. Damage. Nice, the max range snipe. This guy's gonna have Bork on this back. Yeah. I'm scared. I have no ulti right now either. Just go for a back. They see my shiv right now. Hopefully she's safe. Okay. Yeah, the thing about... That's one thing that sucks about Mord. You get countered by range. Like, stuff like Vayne and Lucian is gonna... Be kind of impossible for you to win the land. That's just one of the... That's something about top lane. Like, the counter picks are... more impactful top lane compared to other roles. Or counter picks like mean more than other roles. Jeez, man, that's one combo. Even if I trade back, his healing's pretty good. It's Kindred over here. I just steal these. I think you only have to take the big one to make it to where you can't get the mark. Mm, okay. That's his flash combo. Yeah, that one bad trade, man. Yo, welcome, Houseplant. Thanks for the follow as well. Why do I sometimes go Death Dance before Cleaver? I only do it into the Cannon matchup. That's like the only matchup I go Death Dance first. And it's because everything about Death Dance just counters Cannon. Like, it gives you everything you need. Seems better than Cleaver. Sustain. He does mixed damage. Makes it to where you like can't one combo you with Alta. Wait, Rennington is dead. Did he TP Ba with no Alta? I guess he did. Dude, he got back so fast. He's trying to bait out my ear. Okay, Kendrick's bot. 
Look at his healing though, man. Jeez. At least we have teleport. Wonder if I can save this. Let me heal a bit first. He might just kill him actually, I'm not sure. Oh my god, that E. Okay, we're fine. That E was so bad, dude. Actually made me kind of nervous. Yeah, I don't know. I've been testing out Death Dance into a few other matchups, but I can't say. I can't say for sure if it's good or not. Like, I've tried it out into Teemo a few times. But Teemo just seems obnoxious no matter what you build. Wait, did they get the dragon? Oh, they stole the drag. That sucks. Does Renekton just be Urgot? Yeah. It's really hard 1v1. But I do much more in team fights than him. This is actually a pretty decent lane so far. Usually a little bit rougher than this. I've been kind of fighting a little bit more than I probably should in this land, but I don't know. We're limit testing. Mm. The Renekton teleport. 14 on Herald. I can maybe rush that. Depends if they go for bot. They might actually try to rush Harold. I think we should be good. Kendra does no ulti. If he comes over, we just turn on him. Oh no. No. That sucks. Okay, I'm down. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks. I wasn't paying attention to the timer. Or I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna die here. I have no way out. I got no way out, dude. Okay. Thought Rankton was for sure gonna go on me if I went that way. It's nice when your teammates create like that fake pressure, even though he could definitely could go there. Dang, that was almost hmm. That was close. That wasn't paying attention to the timer. That sucks. Bro, Shiv is level 14. Did he what the heck? Where did he flash to? We can palm out of ulti if we get his ult. Dude, I think Shiv is gonna take over this game though. That guy's so over leveled. It's 80 Shiv too. This is gonna be hard to deal with for them. And we should have control over all the dragons. 
Oh yeah, I don't know if I talked about it earlier, but I go Q-Max second into Renekton. Since he can't knock off your shield. Just don't even bother with that. Okay, they got blitz coming down. Definitely want to save my flash for a uh, dragon fight, probably. Is this free Baron? This is free Baron. Okay, let's not die here, actually. Let's save this Baron buff. Can't really go all in though. Oh my god, these Heimer turrets, dude. Draven has no alt there. Have you tried Russian Last Whisper against tank lands? I have tried that before. I don't think it's worth it. The problem is, is they just like kill you if you're not tanky at all. They either kill you or they just don't fight you. Depending on the tank as well, like it can still be, it can still take a while to kill them even with armor pen. Sadly against tanks, like I've really tried everything, but you just have to scale into them with their gut. Especially if they're like kind of on the passive side. Which most of them are. Look for a snipe here maybe. Kinda wish we were making a little bit more use of this Baron. I think we should group mid or something. Mm, maybe I'll go bot. Oh, he has no stopwatch. Nice. I think we actually can win against Renekton right now, 1v1, if he comes bot. I think for sure I win actually. We got a sliver of Baron left. Dude, what are these ulties, man? I'm getting out of here, dude. I think their whole team's coming. One for one. I don't really like using flash there, but... Gotta make the best of that situation, I feel like. I'm going extra far back, dude. I'm scared. Let's 
Let's see. What do we want here? Thinking. Thinking randoons, actually. That's what I'm thinking. They have two people building crit. Ooh. He might make it to dragon. It's going to be close. We actually need these dragons. They're getting a lot of free stats here. They have a really hard team comp to just like engage on. I don't know if we're gonna be able to walk in, dude. I'm going this way. Let's just Baron. Let's Baron. I like the Baron call a lot. We shred this thing. See, these Heimer turrets are destroying me, by the way. I saw that Heimer turret did like 600 to me in that fight. It was literally just one of the little mini turrets. Reset as well. Ooh, the portal. I love when bards do that, dude. It's actually kind of hard to do that. I remember I played bard in the normals once and I could not do that. I could not line it up, dude. Yeah, what's up, Yas? Uh, Mord's my secondary, yeah. Definitely my secondary champ. I don't play him nearly as much as they got, but it's my second most played. I gotta wait till our team has a little bit of pressure here. Yeah, they're looking for me. Wait till they start getting the lanes pushed here. Oh man. Okay, it's just him, thankfully. Thought I was about to get like three man. I don't see anyone, dude. They're definitely hovering him, I feel like. All right, we got the death dance sustain. I guess it's kind of hard for them to push against Heimer. Look at that shred, dude. Yeah, like I said, you do outscale Renekton. One E is all it takes. Let's just play off the waves right now. Secure the dub. I'm so used to AP shiv, dude. Like, wait, that E did nothing. Yeah, we can just triple and hit. I got him, boys. 
dude. Oh man, I was getting the triumph heals too. Dude, his uh his edge of night came up right in time. Did you guys see that? It's a 40 second cooldown and it came up right in time on that E. Nice, good game though. Sold game. Yeah, ranked in lane is pretty tough. But definitely do more in team fights. And you even outscale him in the 1v1 later too. Give it to the Echo. That play top side was really nice. 16 LP. That is not very much, dude. At least we're getting close to the D1. 17k damage. Hey, I was trying to unflinching that game too. Couldn't really tell if it felt good, but... I've been trying it out in the Rennington matchup. Because I feel like going Overgrowth... I mean, Overgrowth is still good, but they do go Bork usually. And then you don't want to go like Shield Bash or Revitalize because he just knocks off your shield, right? Been trying out the unflinching. Seems decent.